oh my gosh, why is there a hair on my camera? Why did I even have one? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I decided to film for you. I'm gonna call this my signature look because this is actually how I look almost every single day when I'm going to college or if I wanna look decent, you know, and I just wanna slap on the cake on my face. So this tutorial also includes my everyday turban routine because I've never had so many requests for a turban in my life and this is like my signature turban and whenever someone recreates a look from me they always like do their turban like this and it just touches my heart it's like oh my god yeah not really much to say really just thank you guys so much for subscribing I've reached 4,000 now like, my brain is falling out my ears like I'm just mind blown oh my god how nasty is that please give this video a thumbs up everything I used will be listed in the description everything you want to know so any, if I forget to mention anything in this video, it will be listed down there. Or if you didn't catch what I said, because I do talk really fast, it will be listed there. Yes, this is a lot of makeup. Um, what can I say? I love makeup. I'm an aspiring makeup artist. I'm going to wear tons of makeup every day. What can I say? To each their own. Okay, so no mean nasty comments, because your hair's going to be blacked. Okay, so yeah. Sorry, my intros are long. Okay, let's just get started. Okay, so when I wake up, this is what I look like. This is reality right here, okay. So, first thing I normally do is I get my foundations. I like to mix these two. I fit me foundation in 120 and my Dream Satin Liquid. You've probably heard me talk about this before, how this is too dark for me. And this is like my shade, but then still I like to mix them because it gives me a really nice warm complexion. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just going to mix those two and apply it on my face. I lied. I didn't do my primer. <laughs> primer is not really essential for me. I don't feel like it's completely necessary because I just set my makeup with a powder anyway. But if I'm not really in a rush, which I am today, but oh well, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal. I don't know how to call this. L'Oreal Infallible. That much on my finger. Can you guys see that? I don't even need a lot. You need like what? That much. It's very lightly dab it on my face. I don't want a whole bunch of it because I'm not a huge fan of primer. So a primer is just to help prep the skin for all this cake we're about to bake on the base, okay? Now that I've got my primer on, I'm going to go in with my foundations. So that I apply them at the back of my hand. Okay, I'm just going to start applying that. Between my Sigma Kabuki FAE or my Real Techniques, I usually reach for the Real Techniques. Um, I recently bought this Pro Conceal thingy and I, and I really love it. So this is the colour Creamy Beige. I think Natural or Classic Ivory would, would actually lighten under here. But this is actually really great, I realised, for like hiding my dark circles. But yeah, if you guys actually want to review, there's probably tons of reviews on these, but if you guys do want a little review on it, then just let me know, comment down below or like this video. You know the drill. Yeah, and just to lighten everything up, I like to take my Maybelline Fit Me in number 15. Yeah, I like to cake on my concealer. Okay, that's just how it is. By the way, I'm really sorry for this glary light right here. I'm like, okay, this is not good at all. Wow, okay, that's really bad. Okay, so I actually had to like shut one of my curtains just now because the sunlight was ridiculous. It was like glaring in my face and he just couldn't see me properly. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to get my luxury, my Ben Nye uh, banana powder. I'm just going to set my under eye concealer with that. Oh, and I'm using the Sigma F35 tapered highlighter brush just to set all that. So just to quickly set my foundation, I like to get my, I completely, I need to just buy another one of these. This is my Stay Matte by Rimmel powder. I'm going to do a little bit of primer, like a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I'm 
I'm going to go into my Sleek Oh So Special palette and I'm going to take pink right here, there, that pink right there, and this brown right here, just um, define my crease a little bit. So I actually blended a little bit of this nudie colour right here, just over the lid because I felt like I had too much shimmer going on. I'm going to quickly do my brows because I just can't do my brows. To be honest, I actually haven't made much of an effort with my brows today, as I normally do. I'm just brushing through my Maybelline New York um, eyebrow gel in dark brown. It gives like this really fluffy brow look. Can you see how fluffy they look sticking up? Yeah, I guess I'll do my eyeliner now. I don't usually go for a cat eye look. I usually go for a classic sort of wing thing that goes on. So yeah, and I just use liquid liner. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is done, um, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see that, but if you guys do want to know how I do my eyeliner, I do have an in-depth tutorial on my, I'll link that down below. I guess I'm going to take my Colossal Express Mascara. I was supposed to include this in a drugstore haul I did ages ago, but I just forgot. But I just wanted to see if this was worth all the hype. Everyone's just hyping about this thing. Like, I don't know, I just feel like the consistency is just too wet and it like just really smudges down here. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of it basically, but it is okay. So yeah, now that my mascara is on, lashes, lashes, this is a big thing for me. I never usually go natural with the lashes, I don't know what it is, but yeah. These are just some red cherry ones I've stacked together. I don't actually know what ones they are because I stacked them quite a while ago. But if I find out, I will put it in the description. So yeah. Those are my lashes on. You can see how full they look because I don't really go natural. I'm going to take my St. Topaz bronzer. That's what it looks like. When I first got this, I was in love with it, and now I'm not too sure because it does tend to make me look a little bit orange and blotchy, and I don't know what it is. But um, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush with that and just blend away. Look at my face shape. I just look so skinny now. <laughs> no, but honestly, I love con I love like a really deep, strong contour. I do go natural some days, but today I just feel like going ham with the contour. I like to go in with a little mini fluffy brush and just buff that out. I like to just quickly dip my finger in that highlight shade. Just highlight my, my cupid bow. I'm going to take my mineral blush in suede by um, Bare Minerals, sorry. Literally like the tiniest bit just to warm up my apples and my cheeks. 
by far one of my favorite blushes it's just so natural looking honestly like now I'm gonna take my YBF highlighter it's really nice it's like a cream highlighter Add that on my ring finger and just pat where my cheekbones are um yeah so once that's done I'm gonna take my makeup revolution golden lights highlighter just apply that just over it mm. I don't actually know what lipstick I'm going for today honestly let me just choose okay so I just decided to go for this sleek lipstick in the color Le Queer. there it is I usually do do lip liner but just today I'm just not feeling it I don't know man These are one of my favourite lipsticks. It's got like a really nice purpley undertone. I'm in love with it. Even though it's like really um, shimmery anyway, I do want to add a gloss. So I'm going to add this. This is called Wild Child by Bare Minerals. It smells amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. Oh, I already have my base on underneath. If you guys want to know what I wear under my scarf, then I have a separate tutorial on that. That is my underscarf routine. Oh, by the way, this is like a pashmina sort of material style. I don't. This isn't really chiffon or anything. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the scarf over your head. You're going to have one short piece and one really, really super duper long piece. Um, bring them over your head and just swap the sides over like that um, I like my second piercing to show so I like lift it up so it shows this short piece right here and bring it up over like that tuck it in make sure it's neat do whatever you got to do okay and then I'm gonna get the long piece Yeah, hold down the short piece, flip it over. Once it's over, the long piece is going to be hanging like this. So you're going to want to bring it round under like that and literally just bring it forward like a little ponytail. Um, you know what? Honestly, I don't even pin it. I leave it like this. I don't put any pins in it because I don't run around or do anything. I just go to college and do work and whatever. So, but if I do want to pin it, I'll get it and I'll just hold these two bits together like that and I'll just pin them down um, but yeah if I am going to pin it I'll pin it but I don't think it looks cute with a pin anyway yeah so that's my literally my everyday turban that's how I do it every single day sassy sassy so sassy oh my gosh I'm so sassy this is how I look every single day when I go to college so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial please give it a thumbs up oh, Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Yeah, that's it. I'm really out of breath and I'm really in a rush and I just took ages to film this. Anyway, okay, bye guys. Love you. Oh my gosh, I just started doing this without tip recording. Oh, for God's sake. Foundation. Okay. Lori out. I actually can't talk today. Ah. Uh, not like that. Just. Nice. Why am I smelling my rooms? I can't deal with this tiny ass table with my big long spaghetti arms. Oh. That was a fail. That didn't even pin. You go for this for the could be. I usually go. How big is my face? Like, how much foundation do I actually need?